Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino. My name is James Scarsbrook. Uh, this is the final in uh, um, a number of parts uh, of the, the show looking at a producer based in the Langmore Creek. Uh, Heartland, Heartland Wines, winemaker Ben Glatzer, um, for, you know, reasonably well-known winemaker and doing a, a stellar job at Heartland. Uh, and on this edition, we are looking at two of the director's cut wines from 2015 vintage, both recommended retail price of $33. Uh, so we're looking at two, you know, two of the most important varieties in all of Australia, but particularly in uh, Langhorn Creek and uh, certainly for Heartland wines. Uh, we're looking at Shiraz and Cabernet Sauvignon. So uh, without further ado, let's have a look at the Shiraz to start off with. Um, Really solid packaging um, compared to some of their other wines. This is a slightly more premium bottle, um, or a deeper punch. So we're looking at um, you know something with a, a little bit more uh, prestige, I guess, uh, premium nature. So right, right away, I'm noticing that uh, uh, it's relatively dark, but also quite intense. Um, I, I'm really I'm, I can't see the uh, the, the light through that wine so uh, you know we're talking yeah, a bit decent amount of brightness here really powerful bold um, very very classic you know classic warmer climate Australian um, Shiraz here dark juvie juicy plummy carob quite oaky as well um, I'm noticing there's quite a lot of vanilla um, and uh, almost like a camphor wood. It's, yeah, borderline, it's, it's sort of floral, dry, dry flowers. But yeah, it's it, it just, the oak is kind of sitting over everything. Let's taste. Juicy, mealy, a bit meaty, but Lots of um, sweet dark fruits and um, and sweet so coconut vanilla caramel oak derived notes. Um, it's uh, it's reasonably fresh. Uh, it's uh, you know it's not outrageous. It's, it's it's sitting at a fairly standard alcohol level, fourteen point five percent. Possibly might be a, a little bit higher. Um, But you know, this is as far as style goes. This is um, absolutely textbook. Um, and certainly, if you like that style, um, you're not going to be disappointed with that. Uh, so let's have a look at the cabernet. Sorry, yeah. doing a little bit of washing. In this lovely Sunday afternoon, um, sim similarly dark, similarly intense. Not quite as uh, dark a colour as the Shiraz. It's a little bit sort of redder, which is interesting. Again, you could not, uh, you could not ask for more textbook varietal examples. Um, from this kind of Australian region. Um, this is so overt in its, its personality at being Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it's, it's, you know, the fruits are, are dark, black currant consists, that kind of thing. It's, uh, it's quite leafy. There's some sort of tobacco leaf, there's some eucalypt character in there. Um, yeah, it's quite dusty. Really, really, uh, a little bit smoky as well. The variety is coming through more, you know, more than the oak, and, and that kind of speaks a lot to the nature of Cabernet. Cabernet is uh, is really, really robust in, in in its expression. Let's taste. Fairly soft and mellow on the palate. A little bit of tannic grit, um, but I'd say it's been. Um, tamed a little bit by uh, by a ton of wood. 
just a little bit of bitterness on the back, which is interesting. And it's not something you necessarily see as often with Cabernet, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with the freshness of both of these wines. Even though the, 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 the fruit profile is, uh, is quite robust uh, and uh, the oak um, is quite present, um, if, if you're almost prominent, um, probably more so for the Shiraz. Um, the, the wines are still quite fresh, they're not really overbearing uh, and even though they are going to um, have a bit of a, 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 a tug of war with a meal, they're not going to absolutely smash your palate up and, and, and make you tired whilst you're eating. There, there is still enough freshness in here that they're going to be uh, you know, easily enjoyable with food. Um, $33. Yeah, you know, I think that's a reasonable amount to pay. Uh, if you can see if I'm under 30, I would certainly um, buy it. Uh, that, that would probably be um, a good value. Um, but as I said on, on pre many editions before, when it comes to varieties, particularly from regions where there are a lot of examples, uh, it is a very competitive part of the market to be in. So um, not only do the wines have to be good, but you have to have something interesting whether the wine is interesting or the packaging is interesting um, and uh, and like I think the packaging here is very solid I like the Heartland packaging in general I think the director's cut is, uh, are better examples than some of the other ones um, so yeah look I think it certainly looks like a premium wine it drinks like a premium wine so uh, I, I think generally people will be um, you know pretty happy with this one if not uh, uh, you know, very impressed so thank you as always Heartland uh, for donating some samples I have uh, really enjoyed looking at uh, some of the new releases that you have submitted to me uh, if you would like to have your wines profile here on Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino do get in contact with me uh, you can do that via my website intrepidwino.com there's lots of information there there's writing you can find my podcast the Vincast there uh, and, uh, and I'd love to hear from you uh, you can um, also find my podcast on a number of different other platforms, iTunes, um, podcasts app, uh, Spotify now, iHeartRadio as well, uh, and, uh, and have a listen to some of the people I've interviewed in the past. Uh, if you're watching this video on the YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, uh, like this video, share it on social media, and uh, most important, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, tell me a story about Heartland or Langhorn Creek or Ben Glazer. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, same applies, uh, but instead of subscribing to the YouTube channel, uh, hit the like button to follow the Intrepid One O Facebook page. Guys, um, as always, I, I, I love sharing my impressions of these wines with you. Thank you so much for watching, but until next time, cheers.